Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about a new product that is very appropriate for this time of year, and that is a new sunscreen. So, as someone who's quite fair, something very important for me, especially in the summer, is SPF. So, this is the Dr. Jart Every Sun Day ha, <laughs> Mineral Sunscreen. Uh, this has UVA and UVB protection, and this one is water resistant, which is nice. Uh, it is a broad spectrum SPF 50 plus sunscreen. This is 1.69 fluid ounces. This is going to be a little bit on the pricier side as far as sunscreens go, but it does have a lot of claims and it is, you know, it's a Korean skincare brand. I like a lot of their other products. So, you know, when something works, in a line or a, a brand, then I'm more willing to pay a little bit more and give it a try, see how I like it. Um, a lot of sunscreens that are mixed with like other claims or other, you know, things like it's a moisturizer, it's matte finish, you know, things like that seem to bulk up the price. So this isn't gonna be in a price point for everybody, but if this is a brand you love or you're really looking for a good mineral sunscreen, I definitely think that this one is worth checking out. I'll open it up in a minute. Um, I have already used it. I did just stick it back in the box for the video so that I could do like the whole unboxing with you guys. Um, but I do already have some first impressions on the actual product. So I did wanna read a little bit of the box though. So it is for sensitive skin. It's a non-chemical sunscreen. And then it's supposed to have soothing sun protection. So it's zinc and titanium dioxide. And then, I'm sorry, zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. And like I said, this one is waterproof. I believe it's for like 80 minutes or something like that. Whatever, it's like the standard amount of time. Um, so obviously, if you go swimming or something like that, afterwards you'll need to put more sunscreen back on. And one of the reasons that I was checking this one out is because I had tried the Super Goop, the Unseen sunscreen, which the texture of that is really like strange to me because it's more like a primer. And I mean, it was totally invisible, like totally matte, and it totally broke me out. <laughs> so um, I definitely, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't for me. So I was looking for some other things, and I also did want to kind of try out a mineral sunscreen versus a chemical sunscreen to see how it did, how it wore under makeup. Some of the things I was looking at, how does it do under makeup? Does it leave a white cast? Does it make you look greasy and disgusting? Are you gonna get sunburned if it's really, really hot and you're sweating? Those are the things that I was looking for. So, um, this product is really cool in my opinion. It does say it's a mild daily mineral sunscreen for all skin types, dermatologist tested, uh, dermatologist tested for sensitive skin and water resistant tested. It is also free of parabens, mineral oil, petrol, petrol, I just want to say petroleum, petrolatum, synthetic dyes, talc, DEA, sulfate, triclosan, fluorescent material, and formaldehyde. Ooh, I probably didn't even say all of those right. Goodness gracious. Uh, definitely not things that you want in your skincare. So that's great. Um, it is by Dr. Jart, so it is a Korean skincare brand. And then on the bottom, it's got your expiration date, the lot number. Uh, this is actually really nice. It has an exact expiration date. So this one expires in, let's see, December 4th of 2021. So I've got a ways to go before I have to chuck this. So it's got the cute box. It's got the little writing on the inside, the protect me, hashtag Dr. Jart, hashtag every Sunday. So that's super cute. Um, if you're into packaging, it's cute packaging. And if you're into packaging, I think you'll like the packaging on this. It is super cute. So super cute packaging here. So it's got the Dr. Jart uh, every Sunday mineral sunscreen. It's got all the information again on it. And then on the back, it says apply gently prior to sun exposure, it has all the stuff about the testing, the active ingredients, which is the zinc oxide and titanium dioxide made in Korea. It's got the brand info, blah, blah, blah. 
And one of the things that I, it has the expiration date on the back too, so you don't have to worry if you lose the box or anything. One of the things that I think is really interesting is that it is a squeezy tube. It is 1.69 fluid ounces, so it's the same size as like a lot of sunscreens, a lot of moisturizers, but this packaging just feels more compact, which I really like. It's gonna be really easy to travel with. It fits into my medicine cabinet really nicely. Uh, I took it on the boat fishing so that I could reapply it, and you know, it just threw into a little zip Locks, super easy and so I really like the convenience of that another thing that I think is super cute is that the bottom is a rectangle so it's perfectly flat I mean it's got the Dr. Jart embossing but it's flat so when you stick it in your medicine cabinet it actually stands up perfectly totally balanced doesn't fall over there's all those ones that have like the the pump and then it has like the little cap and those always fall over and it always annoys me. So I know it's like a packaging thing, it's not product related, but I love that this stands up in my medicine cabinet. It's just like amazing to me. Uh, definitely, you know, this will be on sale. You don't have to buy it for the full price. So, you know, if you don't like the price point, just wait for it to go on sale and check it out. But I definitely think it's really cool. It is, so you just unscrew, and then it's got this kind of bottom. But the nice thing is, since it doesn't have a tip, you don't have to worry about the tip breaking off. And then the other nice thing is that it just fits in here really nicely, and I don't have to worry about it. I haven't had any trouble with it leaking or you know anything like that. It's just, it's a very nicely made. So I really like that. The bottom is like really solid but then it has the squeezy tube still. So this is so nice. The texture is so nice. The finish is so nice. And it I don't get sunburned wearing it, which I know it's a weird thing to say, but some sunscreens, they don't work very well. So, you know, with my complexion, I'll still get sunburned while I'm wearing it. And obviously that kind of defeats the purpose I'm trying not to get skin cancer, not to get wrinkles, all of that stuff. So I want something that works. I wore this the other day fishing. We went fishing for like six hours in peak sunburn time and it was 85 degrees. I was definitely sweating. So this is definitely waterproof. Didn't have any trouble with it, like melting into my eyes and burning them, you know, none of that. I put this on in the morning, I rubbed it in, there's no white cast, it dries down to a very like smooth matte finish, so I mean you've got like a little bit of shine to it, but not, you're not like glowy, you're not greasy, you're, you don't feel gross. You feel like you did put on like a moisturizing, you know, sunscreen product, but you aren't, you've got like, like the nice highlight glow, not the... I'm a grease ball glow. So I really like the finish on this and I really like the texture. So it's thick, but when you rub it in, it just feels, it feels very nice very quickly. So I even reapplied this a couple of times while we were fishing. So out on the boat, uh, you know, no mirror, nothing. So easy to reapply. It was just nothing. So let me show you guys the texture and I'm wearing it right now. So like, like, I don't look greasy, I don't look oily, like, you can't tell that I have anything on my face at all. That's how nice it is. So, let's do this where you guys can maybe see it. I'm not going to use a lot because I don't want to waste it. I'll put it on my face, but I don't really need to reapply right now. So, as you saw, super easy, squeezes right out. And then this is, let's see if we can get it to just look at that. Okay, so it's like thick. You know, but it's not gross feeling thick, but it's not gonna like, it's not gonna run down your hand or anything. And then just, you know, see like even when I rub it into just my fingers, it just disappears. And then I'll just rub that in right there. You can never have too much sunscreen. <laughs> now, the one thing about this is it does smell like oranges. So if you don't like that, I mean, the smell only lasts for like maybe 30 seconds, so I don't think it's anything that's going to be bothersome to somebody who has like an aversion to scents. And the thing about this is this, where's my box? 
So this does actually have mandarin orange peel oil in it. So I'm pretty sure that's what the smell is. It's it's not overwhelming or strong or anything, but like when your hands are next to your nose, obviously you can smell it. So it does have that scent, goes away right away. And then as you can probably already tell, like you can't even tell that I put anything on my nose at all. And I did rub in. So like, as you can tell, there's no white cast, there's no shininess, nothing. Like it's just, it's, it's beautiful. And I did wear it under makeup the other day and it was perfect. I didn't have any issues with it, like making anything pill or making anything kind of like move around or slide around or, you know, anything gross like that. So it wore beautifully under makeup. I haven't had any issues with white cast. I don't have any greasiness and it doesn't become greasy even after you've worn it for several hours. It still looks exactly like this. So I think it's a really, really good product. I think it's definitely worth trying. I mean, obviously I'd like sunscreen to cost a little bit less, but I am willing to pay a higher price point for something that does everything that I want. So it's a brand that I know I already like. So obviously I was more willing to try it anyways, but I do like the brand and I do like that there's no white cast. It's not greasy. It doesn't feel greasy when you put it on. It just rubs in like a lotion and it's not that watery gross texture. I don't really like those ones as much. I like something a little bit thicker where I know and I can see where I'm rubbing it in and it wears beautifully under makeup. So it does everything that I want it to do. It hasn't broken me out and I like that it's waterproof. A lot of the like moisturizing sunscreens that you buy, they're not waterproof. So when you sweat a lot or it's really hot, it just sometimes they like move around and they come off and then you get, you know, like a splotchy sunburn on your face, stuff like that. So this one, I haven't gotten sunburned at all while wearing it. Uh, obviously you have to reapply it, but if you do what you're supposed to, it'll just wear beautifully and it'll protect your skin. So if you guys have any questions about it or want any other information about it, just let me know. I would be happy to do a follow-up video or do a video wearing it, you know, under makeup, whatever you guys want to see. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and comment, subscribe, whatever you feel like. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.